by the misspellings, we should have known something, but uh, hey. You can't have it all. Can't, can't do everything, right. So back to uh, Tony Oakland, who never turns around to the yes. camera. So are you, are you a little bit homophobic? Is that why that bit bothered you so much? No, I just, the guy that was doing it, you know, has a girlfriend, which is kind of creepy, but whatever. <laughs> it was all in fun. Well, don't tell her. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't watch the show. It's not like she's going to know anything about this. Well, then you're fine. Okay, thank you. Then it doesn't disturb you anymore. Good. <laughs> Good. Well, what minute mark are we at, guys? 20. 20. Okay. What else is going on in the news? The NFL draft. What can you tell me about the NFL draft? Because I'm not even... Well, from what I'm seeing so far, and uh, I've done about three minutes of research, uh -huh. um, we're supposed to take some receiver from Florida, and I don't even know what his name is. But uh, we're at, what, pick 17, something like that? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he's like the fourth res best receiver out there. And that's, that's, I guess, who we're targeting. I would prefer that we, we go trade for Cutler. You know, that's the big talks right well, now. Well, I thought we got that Jewish quarterback now. That that Rosen Sage, Sage Rosenfels? Yeah, yeah, Sage Rosenfels. Uh, yeah, we do have him. It's, yeah. it's great that we signed another backup, you know, traded for a backup quarterback. That's cool. You know? I heard they're going to compete for the job. Tavares Jackson and what? Rolls Halls, whatever his name is. Yeah, on any other team, they'd be competing for the backup job. It's it's a joke. So if I don't we, think Sage would be competing for the backup job and on any other. He team. was a backup on his yeah, last team. Yeah, but did you see that two games he played in and he was really awesome? <laughs> but uh, what do you, what do you think of Sage Rosenfeld? <laughs> okay, now can I talk, Peter? Yeah, go ahead. Um, he did all right in Houston. The couple of games he played, didn't he do all right? He did have some chokes, though. I agree with Eric on that too. Yeah, I don't know. If we could get Cutler in here, I would be all for trading our first round pick and probably our whole draft. Let's just Cutler let's just would be good, but he's gonna be like a TO complaining and bitching all the time about stuff. Why? Because he wants to get out of Denver? No, he's a crybaby. What else has he cried hey, about? I didn't get my offensive coordinator back. Yeah, my quarterback's gone. Back our coach is gone. Yeah. <laughs> was that Peter or was that was that Woody back there doing that? That was Woody doing the voice. That was Eric. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why would Cutler want to leave the Broncos? Because they, they fired Shanahan. So what? He was just kind of used up anyway, wasn't he? Shanahan, he won. And, oh, and then, uh, and then they, they uh, wanted to trade him, or they thought about trading him for Matt Castle. And he wasn't happy that he's the man and that they were going to trade him. Didn't Castle end up in uh, Kansas City? Yeah, so his career is going to go down the toilet. Oh, yeah, good career choice. <laughs> They'll win, like, two games next year. Wait a minute. That's the smartest thing I've ever heard anyone say about anything. Thank you. Thank you very much. All what right. about the Twins? Twin season's coming up here. Yeah, um, it is? Yeah, they, they should be good. I, I don't know. What else you want to say about them? They, I'm a little unsure about that new third baseman we got from the White Sox. Really? Mm-hmm. What's his name again? Uh, Joe Creedy. Joe Creedy. What do you, do you want to weigh in on Joe Creedy, seeing as we're in the sports segment of the show? What do you think of Joe Creedy, Woody? He was pretty solid in the, for the White Sox, wasn't he? Yeah, well, he was injured, but when he plays, he's a, he's a home run hitter. I like him. Do you think maybe we could use him in a DH role and then just put Punto at third? Your yeah, where are they going to dump Punto? <laughs> I thought you loved Punto, Woody. He's good. Can he play outfield or anywhere else? I think he could play like uh, Bat Boy. That'd yeah, that's a good point. I uh, could probably Punto. do that. He's very versatile. But uh, yeah, I think the Twins will definitely be in the running this year as long as their young pitching, you know, steps it up and makes something happen. I mm -hmm. think they can be a solid team. Mm hmm. Definitely. So, well, what else is going on in the news? Oh, Gabrick, that's your boy, isn't it? Gabrick. No, that's one of our our interns' boys. The intern should get on the mic here and, and talk to us a little bit about Gabrick. Who's that? Lisa? No. No, this, this is our, our new intern. Uh, Mike? Mike here. Mike is really in the Gabrick? Uh, yeah, he's hot. All right. So, he's hot. <laughs> so so what, would, what would you say? Would, would you still be a Wild fan if, uh, if Gabby leaves the team? Mm. The locker room, but maybe not as much. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think he's gone. Like, I think he's just Fuck not going to play. Fuck you. What's your problem? Okay, so, so would you still be a Wild fan, or would you be a fan of whatever team he signs with? We talked about the locker room. That's about it. No, I'd probably follow Gabrick. Yeah? Yeah. He's a good guy. I actually stood in line at the Mall of America for an hour and a half trying to get his autograph. I was there with you. I know. And he spoke like two words of English and then scribbled on our, on our paper. It didn't even look like an autograph. Well, he's pissed at you. I grew up to him under the table. It was nice. <laughs> You're, you happen <laughs> to be gay, to Mike, right? You're gay? I'm very open. Open. <laughs> college years. Would you ever consider dating Gabrick? Yes, absolutely. He's a catch? He's a catcher. I'm the pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> we know we can. Well, but he has groin issues. I mean, couldn't that put like a hitch in the relationship? There's always other things you could do. Why do you think he has groin issues? Uh-huh. 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 Thank you, Eric, though. It's true, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Are the Wild even going to make the playoffs this year? I haven't even been following them at all. Um, they're, I guess they're competing for like the eighth spot. Like they might get in, but if they do, they're going to play like Detroit in the first round and lose. Oh, great. So Detroit, they suck. So yeah, it's, it's kind of worthless. Did say suck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about Gabrick again? So you're kind of a hockey aficionado then, Mike? Would you say? Are we talking about Gabrick or just? Hockey, no. NHL um, yeah, hockey Yeah, I do like hockey. So do you think the while they're going to make the playoffs then? No. No? No. No chance. I don't think so. Oh, no. What will that do to the yeah. state of hockey? Will the suicide rate go up? Well, they've handled it every other year, so <laughs> they'll just get on like they have other times. Wow, sports points for Angie. We might have to promote her pretty soon. Yeah, to the sports <laughs> desk? Right. So. So, uh, well, whatever. Do we even bother talking about the Timberwolves anymore? No, gosh. Who are they? Oh, I think they're like a pro team in town. Really? Are we out of time, guys? All right, well, check us out next week, uh, right back here on your favorite public access station or the Internet. I'm uh, Mike Hunt. This is Donnie Eric. Good night. See you.